What's up guys? I've seen this magic indicator menu on the internet where they used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create and I say why not do this in Adobe XD. Before we get into the tutorial, make sure you hit that subscribe button below to become part of this awesome family. On the screen here I've got icons, a circle, and a rectangle. I grouped the two circles and gave them a name as indicators and I blurred one of it to give it an outer glow effect. Now let's proceed. Pick the ellipse tool and draw a circle on the rectangle. Select both and click on subtract, to create this nice curve in the rectangle. Drag the indicator and place it in the middle of the space created in the rectangle. Place the home icon in the middle of the indicator and place the rest of the icons in the middle of the rectangle. Decrease the opacity of the text under the icons. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle on the profile icon. Duplicate the rectangle and place it on the rest icons. This rectangle will serve as a hotspot. Select all of the rectangles and decrease the opacity to 0%. Select the whole design and make it a component. Add a new state to the default state and rename it as a profile. At this state, select the circle in the subtraction folder and move it above where the profile icon is and also move the indicator. Place the profile icons in the middle of the indicator. Increase the opacity of the text below. Move the home icon to the middle of the rectangle and turn the opacity of the text to 0%. Add another state and name it as a notification. We are repeating the same steps we did earlier in the profile state. Note that every state represents the activeness of what has been selected at that particular time. Now we finished the design, switch to the default state, switch to the prototype tab, select the profile icon and click on the blue handle. At the property, change transition type to auto animate. This creates the movement of the indicator along with the rectangle. Choose profile as the destination. This property allows the click function works with the activeness of the icons. Change the easing to none and the duration to 0.4 seconds. Select the notification icon, click on the blue handle, and set the destination to notification state. Select the settings icon, click on the blue handle again and set the destination to the setting state. Switch to the profile component state. Here also we just gonna set the destination to the inactive icons as we did in the default state. So please follow me as I set the destination for the rest icon in the states. Now that we finished with the prototyping, let's preview how it will work. So if I click on the profile icon the indicator moves and make it show as active and the rest works as we want it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial helps you, hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you have not done that. Check out more XD tutorial on this channel here. See you on another tutorial soon. Peace.